Okay, welcome everybody to Coffee and Art in the Morning. <laughs> so, got a couple projects going to do today. First thing we're going to do is talk about, for the Society of Idea Collectors, the well, that's going to be the segment I'm going to put it in. It doesn't have to be part of the Society of Idea Collectors, but um, it can be. So I'm going to talk about the new project that I planned for 2018. I'm going to tell you all how I'm doing it now. And remember, please, please, please remember, you can incorporate this in any of your journals, your society of idea collecting, your notebooks, your planners, your however you keep track of stuff and how you keep track of your ideas. And so just, you know, think of it as another chapter, <laughs> another chapter. And we're all giving Eileen some hugs and love today because she fractured a couple ribs. And we're sending Janet to the other end of the corner. We're sending Eileen to the healing corner. And we're sending Janet to the opposite uh, side of the room because she's making Eileen laugh. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, I have a whole bunch of notes. <laughs> I'm going to set them up here for a second. So, I'm calling this project Syllables. Because, and I even wrote the definition down of syllables. A unit of pronunciation a, 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 unit of, a unit of pronunciation having one vowel sound with or without surrounding consonants, forming the whole or part of a word. It goes along the side. The least amount of speech or writing. The least mention of something. So that's what I'm thinking of as syllables. It's the least, let me set this up here. It's like little bits of little parts of speech make up, uh, you know, your words, your sentences, whatever. Well, in the same vein, I, I thought about doing little parts of things to build on. And I did a little sample one here. This is the one I did over the weekend for uh, Veterans Day. Now, there's a lot more that you can do than just this, but I just did a little sample. <clears throat> so this is things I had and found in my collection. Now, y'all know I've got bins, boxes, tubs, full of collage, ephemera, and, all, and, and most of us have a lot of this stuff, right? <laughs> so now we can use it more. Uh, so I picked out things to do a little mini, um, if you want to call it a collage, a little piece for Veterans Day. I found, I wrote down some quotes. I have a couple of quotes. Here's some washi tape I just put on there. Let's move this. <clears throat> Some washi tapes, some red, white, and blue. Um, freedom isn't free. A tab, a tab that says brave. A couple of quotes that I hand wrote out on um, bravery. And so I just kind of put them on here with the paper clip with the little red ribbon for, um, for Veterans Day. All right, now, if you do something like this, and I'm going to show you how you can incorporate <clears throat> your planner ideas into this too. And I'm going to show you. Let me go ahead and do that real quick here, because there's lot there's lots to this. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to make it as um, succinct. Well, it's not going to be succinct. <laughs> I'm trying to make it as uh, clear as I can how I'm going to. And and if y'all questions as we go, just ask. <clears throat> so, you can take a calendar, for example, and not only can you cut out, and this, you, this can just be a cheap calendar, okay, you can do this daily, weekly, monthly pages, you can do them thematically, you can do them topically, you can do them in many different ways. I'm going to show you different ones. I only have a few samples right now. Okay. But you could take, let's just say you wanted to do something for the first week of November. You can have this on here. You can, and, and by the way, 
you can glue these tack them down whatever all right so let's just take the first week of november and let's just take the first four days here I didn't pre-cut these because I wanted to cut them here so y'all could see where we're going. Now you could leave the days of the week there. You could move them around. You could cut that off. You could add your own days of the week. You can stamp them, hand write them, whatever you want to do. Okay? So let's just take these. <clears throat> and you can do this. Let's zoom in one here. Let's zoom in one here. Okay, I think we're still focused. Now it's going to kind of want to flash out because of white paper, but whatever. Okay, hey Jerry, we're talking about my new syllables part of Society of Idea Collectors for 2018. You can start now, and I'm going to show you a note, but y'all are going to freak out when I show you some stuff. Don't freak out, anybody. Y'all know me. I have a notebook for everything. I have my Society Idea Collectors. I have I have all kinds of notebooks. And you're going to see two more today. But trust me, you do not have... You can do it all in one. You, if you have a three-ring binder for your Society of Idea Collector, if you have a planner, if you have your composition book, all this can be done in whatever books you collect your ideas in. And hopefully you have something that you're collecting your ideas in. If you're not writing stuff down, don't email me. Okay, so I got the first four days. This is the first week of November. You and oh, and you can also let's just make it let's make it pretty here. You could take well, this one's not a thick pen. Hang on, let me get a let me get a sharpie that's thicker. Sorry guys, I bumped the camera there. Or just some yeah, here we go. Here's a thicker pen. Sorry, I bumped the camera and it just went cray. Okay, so you could take and you can do it however you want. Use your own creativity, your own imagination. Okay, so you could, this is not this thick one I thought it was, but whatever. Okay, and you, you don't even have to do this. You could just glue them down and draw lines around them. But if you, if you glue your little squares down, then just draw red around or whatever. Oh, see, I may, I'm making a mess here. And you can be a neater and all that. I'm just giving you some examples. Okay. So you can have your week here. One, two, three, four. And I know it's kind of hard to see, but that's why I wanted to do this one. Or you can do it on the other side. You could do one and two, three, four, five, six, however you want to do it. You can have your little squares. You can have them overlapping. See, the thing about them, because they're syllables... And you can move them around. You're making new words. You're making new. You're making a new way of collecting your ideas, planning. It's little parts of the whole, right? All right. So you can take. If you have questions, I'm trying to get all the facts out. Then we'll talk about the nuances, right? Okay. So like, you can do this. You can do this. Or if you're not a planner person or you don't want your, you have a separate way of doing your planning, don't put dates on it. Or you could just put the date of your project like this. I could just put November and a big 11. You know, you don't have to put, or I could cut out 11, November 11. Let's just say my um, Society of Idea Collectors. Um, I have other pages for other things that happen in November. But for um, uh, Veterans Day, then I wanted a page for November 11th. So this could have a November and 11. You could stamp it. You could tie, you know, you could cut, write it and glue it down. Um, but the idea is to make it personal, but usable. Okay. So you can kind of stack these a little like this. And again, you can write, because, you know, you wouldn't even have to color around the edge you could just glue one down and take your red pen right but here's the thing about doing it this way you you can play you can make your own composition you can move things around because you have all your syllables now before i go any further with examples 
let me show you how. Okay, so we all have tons of, like I said, we all have little collage bits. We have ephemera. We have, and I made a list here. Let me tell you some of the things you can use. Get oh, I hope you all have a pen. <laughs> And, uh, and your paper. I'm going to read them off. I'm recording. So if you don't have something now, I'll, uh, you can go back. Okay. But here's some examples. Here's some examples of things that you can use in your syllables. Okay. Let me show you real quick here. All right. Let me pull this. So I put together a notebook. <laughs> I put together a notebook here. Of, this is all stuff to use on my pages. And now I'm going to have to back back out again. Hang on. Okay. That's as far back. I, without moving the camera, this is as far back as I can get. So I have, this is like a, I think it's a three inch binder. <laughs> Don't anybody laugh. Well, y'all can laugh at me. Go ahead. It's okay. It's better laugh at me than make Eileen laugh because, you know. All right. So... <laughs> So I'm going to show you this in just a second. And then where I'm going now, again, you can do your pages, and I'll show you some more examples in a minute. You can do your pages and insert them. <laughs> Dare LMG. You can put those pages in your three-ring binder that you've made for the Society of Idea Collectors, right? I have made separate binders mostly for you guys. So that I can progressively show you things and I have it all together. Just like I have multiple um, multiple uh, composition books for notes for you guys. So I have a lot extra notebooks so that I can show you guys, right? So I'm keeping them kind of separate. So I made a separate notebook. <laughs> this is my notebook with the pages that I'm going to do and and examples this this is going to be my example <laughs> yes Terry, i put together but again the reason i put this one together was for you guys mostly right these pages all these pages can go in your society of idea collecting notebook okay <laughs> so let me go ahead and read you some of the things that i have in here and they're not even all in here. I just kind of get, I try, I put this together over the weekend. This I put together over the weekend for you guys. <laughs> but here's, a, here's another uh, rabbit trail. While putting this together and going through my ephemera, my collage bits, my bins, my boxes, and my bundles, I came across some old kits that I had on Etsy. ATC Etsy kits that I had like seven years ago. I came across three leftovers. So here's what I'm going to do. I already know what's in them, but I'll show you. I'm sending one to Eileen. This is going to be a get well love pack for Eileen who fractured two ribs this weekend. And I'm going to give away these two. So there's some bonuses by going through your stuff. So, <laughs> ah, Terry, I know. Do you think that's enough room in the I don't know. Okay, so yes, I just threw it together. I well, I went through bins and boxes, and while I was watching some, you know, history shows and stuff like that, I had stacks and boxes. And trust me, guys, look. Let me show you something. Let me see if I can get at it. Look, here's just one box of ephemera. Now I went through this box. Look how big this box is. Bigger than my notebook. I went through just one box here. This thing is six inches, well, five inches deep. Okay, so I went through just one, this, just this box took me a couple, two, three hours, right? I went through this box and pulled out things for in here. I went through a big collage bin and pulled things out. Okay, so get ready to write some stuff down. So this is the kind of stuff I found and pulled, right? <laughs> <laughs> Denise missed those bad boys. I probably had them hidden under the bed or something, Janet. <laughs> You're having an anxiety attack? No, you haven't really missed anything, Jerry. I'm just talking about, I'm just talking about so far for the Society of Idea Collectors. It doesn't have to be 
part of Society of Idea Collectors. If you're not one to collect ideas with us, that's fine. It can still be, you know, uh, it can be your planner, your your daily co your daily thoughts, your daily topic. All we've done so far is just I just showed you this right here, which I did post on Instagram. Um, I think I did on Facebook too, and how you can take squares I just read put red around this one and you can make your own planner with a, a calendar take a calendar and and cut the pages up or if you don't want to take a calendar look I have this other things here where you can just make your own so if you want to have a week on a page you know you can have them all any way you want look see you can tilt them whatever Wherever you want to collect your ideas, and it doesn't have to be a planner now, guys. It doesn't. You don't have to do a daily thing. This could be a theme. In other words, this right here was, I did this one just for uh, Veterans Day, okay? <laughs> so, um, this one was just for Veterans Day. So, I have a couple of little tabs. Let's say, Brave, Freedom Isn't Free, a couple quotes. Here's one by Alexander Hamilton. I just hand wrote those. Have a little red ribbon. I'm reviewing for Jerry, and those that just came in. So, it can just be a theme, but it can be more than just a theme. It can, this could be your day. This could be November 11th in your binder i'll just call it that i'll just say it's your binder it can be your society of idea collecting binder it can be your planner binder it could be your sketchbook binder because you're going to find that you can use everything you're going to be able to use <laughs> you're welcome dot dot got her little envelope of trash <laughs> Okay, Dot. So, um, this is going to be everything. All right, so now let me go back here. Let me go back to my thing here, and I'm going to read these off. So, these are just some of the things, and there's anything you have, any of your stuff you have that you can glue, you can use, right? This is just some of the stuff I wrote. Of course, words. Like, you know, it can be your dates. It can be your months. It could be your week. It could be your day could be a November 11th or it could be all of you know a week <clears throat> your cutouts so I have one here I'm gonna have some you know any kind of cutouts like this okay now see Janet see Janet and she may not realize this but her beast and it's kind of like a faux Benici her beast is like a faux Benici and it just it, it was like watching Janet flip through her faux Benici, which is her planner and her dates and her um, and her junk. <laughs> I just took it a step farther, Janet. <laughs> I made it bigger and more. Okay. And all right. So words, your cutouts, quotes, um, anything that's stamped, stenciled washi tape, color swatches, and I wrote either painted yourself, which you're going to see I have some painted ones myself, or paper colors. You can use um, design seed color combinations if you want more than one color. I've kept it really simple at the beginning with usually just one main color, like this one was blue. Okay, this one is red. I kept them kind of uh, one main color at first. So we can develop them further, you know, as we go. Okay. Uh, life cards, like project life cards. Let me see. I have one here for an example. Where to go? Okay. You could start with your page just having this. Okay. Your, fr your first page could just be that. Okay, and some in your day and your little squares, your little squares around it like this. You know, here we go. You know, November. There we go. So this this could be your start of your page. <laughs> that could be November's front page. Okay. Um, collage bits, ephemera rub-ons, stickers, your own doodles, your own mini drawings. If you have a sketchbook of all kinds, like I, you know I do, sketchbook of all kinds of little drawings, cut them up, cut them out. If you have an old sketchbook and you thought, oh, I have this little drawing of a little cat, 
<clears throat> it's just a doodle. Well, color that cat in, cut them out, and stick them on one of your uh, syllable pages. Or put it in your binder for later. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> your, your magazine bits, thoughts, notes, calligraphy. Like instead of just cutting out the word November, I could have done a calligraphy November. Or m Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I could handwrite that. <clears throat> and when I say calligraphy, it can be your own handwriting. It doesn't have to be fancy calligraphy. Okay. Color book parts, which I'm going to show you some of that today. How to start a base with some color book parts. Your paper clips with little bits of words, like I did here. Okay. I, I, and on all my main pages, I'll probably have a paper clip because I think it looks cute. I did not invent putting a ribbon on a paper clip. Don't let anybody email me. Okay. <laughs> it just looks pretty. So if you want to just paper clip some quotes. Okay. I got to close that window. Now the sun's coming in. If you just want to hand write out some quotes, some notes, some details of the day. Um, okay, the sun is really bright. Hang on, guys. Sorry, I'm going to have to block the sun. Just a minute. There we go. Because it's starting to flash out my white paper. Um, all that can be used um, in, in your little paper clip. Quotes, little words. You know, I have brave, freedom isn't free on just some little tabs. You know, just little cutout tabs and just have them, them paper clipped in there. So essentially what you're doing, you're collecting a theme, a day, an event. In this case, it's an event, Memorial Day. I mean, Veterans Day. Um, so you're collecting stuff for that. You're making it pretty. You can, you can make it a planner with your little daily squares. Okay, you can put that on there, and they can be bigger, like I said, if you just want, um, let me go around one so it shows up on camera. <clears throat> this one's, these are just off of a calendar. That's the easiest way to do it. The easiest way is just to cut up a calendar. You can get those dollar calendars, you know, you can get dollar, because they don't have to have any decorativeness to the calendar. Just a plain calendar, and I'm doing this real quick. You can be neater or messier. You know, you can make it really kind of messy and, you know, sketchy so that you don't feel don't feel pressured to make it perfect. Let's don't do that because this is not a perfect project, guys. Okay, so you can make your squares like that. This could just be something, let's just say you did something with the family on, on Veterans Day. Uh, Julie Topaz probably did. Um, you could have your one square here and write about what, write in here, you know, November 11th, and this can be stuck on here. Or it could just be paper clipped on there. Just paper clip it, you know. There's, it's just so much versatility to this. Yeah, we we collected stuff. We're collecting ideas or ideas. Yes, Asher. Okay, so you could do this, right? This could just have like a big 11 on here. <laughs> you know, you could do this. You could stick it. You can glue it. You could tape it. You can paper clip it. You know, whatever, whatever you want. Okay, I'm gonna keep going because we got lots of stuff to cover. Okay. So the idea behind syllables is little parts of all your stuff brought together to make a cohesive theme, idea, day, or week. Even if you just made one page a week, one page a week, you could make the main, your, your art part of it, whatever the main thing happened that week. In the meantime, you could just keep your little squares paper clipped. Paper clip your little squares or larger squares on the page for the week. So even if you just did one page a week, okay, <laughs> uh, then at the end of the week, you could do something like this, the main thing that happened that week. Or you could do two or three. You could do as many pages as you want. 
This could be November uh, 1 through 5 or 4, and then have another page behind it for a special event, right? So there's no limit. That's the thing. There's no limit to how many pages you make a week, how many things you do. I would just suggest start with one page. One page a week. Your, your seven little squares, don't don't glue them down until, now you could use repositionable tape or, you know, something like that just to kind of tack them if you want to. But you're not going to want, you're not going to know where you're going to want your little squares until the end of the week. So just keep them all together, keep them paper clipped, you know, on your page, and then throughout the week, you'll be able to go through your bad boy. <laughs> And collect things okay all right so let me keep um, with the notes for a minute okay you can use it in any book so whatever kind of book you keep your ideas in composition book that could see you could do the same thing I just showed you in your composition book a three ring binder y'all know I'm a three ring binder girl okay but they're adjustable they're switchable and they're movable until you glue them down so you can be collecting your little syllables collect your little syllables each one of these is a syllable each one of these things is a syllable collect your syllables up until you feel like you want to make a page on a theme or the end of the week one a week however you want to do it okay and I said something about the color book or your own art um, okay so here are some different topics that you can do now these are the same topics the same type of topics that we talk about in the society of idea collectors words events dates you know how you have your dividers right we have a color divider um, to talk to, to do color studies themes topics quotes uh, I like history so you could do uh, an era or a time period you know, in my case here, I did kind of vintage Americana, like an old Uncle Sam. This is actually a postage stamp. That's a real stamp. Um, these are cut out of a magazine. This is cut out of a vintage, um, uh, what do you call it, um, Collect Americana collectibles stuff. So I cut them out. This was out of another magazine. These little stars are stamped, and I had them already. Here, look. I had a whole page of these that I'd stamped and embossed. So I cut those out. <clears throat> um, do you I bet your forearms are <laughs> lifting books? Yeah. Uh, I hand wrote the word remember. I put the date right there. And I just have one blue uh, swish of uh, paint from a card, you know, picked up some acrylic paint on a on an old gift card, smushed that down, splattered some red, and glued my theme down. Okay, and then have a couple quotes, tabs, a paper clip, and again, your days, right? Your days, which this one's not going to be for a calendar one. This is not a planner one. This is just an event. Okay, that's just an event. Okay, uh, topics, quotes, an era, a time period. You're, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of all the topics that we've discussed in our Society of Idea Collecting notebook. Uh, you know, you have your list and your mind mapping and all that, and, and you have different tabs for that. We've already just, I'm not going to go back. Okay, this is part 14, I think. <laughs> um, spiritual, if you have a spiritual um, tab. And I think everybody should have a spiritual tab no matter what you believe. Where's my one? Um, uh, I, I think it's in my bu book. But I'm, whoops, sorry guys. I do have, um, I do, I am making some pages, spiritual pages for my book, for examples for you guys. But I have to say my, let me take another rabbit trail here. I do my spiritual note taking in my travelers and so this I do that in my travelers so I know it's another book do not feel like you have to have another book I'm good at keeping multiple books I know exactly where everything is but for if you're just starting out on any kind of planners or idea collecting or anything like that I would recommend just a three ring binder 
okay I have multiple books for different things but anyway so this is what I do my um, my spiritual reading and right now this is the book I'm reading the book of mysteries this is the one I'm reading now so and if I take notes if I'm I either annotate in the book I annotate books and I write down notes so this goes as a separate thing right um, yes, it's like the visual side of idea collecting. Exactly, Pacola. I'm going to write that down. I like that. Visual side of idea collecting. Okay. So, I'm, and, and y'all know, guys, I try to explain things as best as I can. You know, I'm not a teacher. I just try to show y'all ideas. Okay. Um, so, any of your planner stuff. Like I said, cut squares out. This is a smaller calendar. You know, there's all kinds of sizes of calendars. Whatever size you feel comfortable and however much you think you can get on your page and this is just eight and a half by eleven standard size cardstock three ring binder punched right so it's very easy um uh, it's very it's standard size right so any of your planner stuff especially if you do the little squares then you can ugh, the camera's so low sorry guys planner stuff your stickers your letter all different kind of sizes of calendars i said that use your post-it notes so if you're going through a week okay you know y'all know here do not feel like you have to go out and get post-it notes y'all know i love me some post-it notes even if you just have one little pack of post-it notes small or large whatever size you want Write your notes down on post-it notes and just stick them on the page all week. You know, if you have, an, and, and this is going, um, this is going to be what you know you're going to want on a page. Um, if you have, let's just say you took some history notes on some show you're watching or something or reading a book, that, that probably isn't going to be your weekly, your weekly page, right? <laughs> so that those post-it notes would probably go in your uh, Society of Idea Collectors under your history tab or whatever your favorite topics are. Okay, am I making sense so far? I hope I am. I'm trying to. I somehow I I can over-explain. I know I can over-explain. Okay, so I think I've got everything on this page. So again, I call them syllables because they are parts of a whole parts of all yes this is the 2018 project i'm giving y'all heads up to start getting a notebook or making plans on how to put it in your society of idea collector notebook the other thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go through all your stuff and collect your syllables that's what i did now obviously this is not all my syllables but it's a hunk of them. So I'm going to flip through here and show you what I've collected for, am I, am I okay? I mean, I can't really back up. I can, let me see. I think I can prop the camera. I can make it a little farther away. Let's see. By shoving some post-it notes <laughs> under the, my yardstick and bring in the camera. Okay, I'm going to move the camera a little bit here, guys. I'm going to try to prop this up just a bit. Hang on. There we go. Ah, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to flip through my beast, <laughs> Janet. And uh, this, is, this is all just collecting my ephemera. And this isn't, like I said, this does not include any of my Project Life cards. This does not include a lot of stuff. You'll see. But I do want to show you what I have got together. Your head is spinning. <laughs> well, just, just you know, when you watch it again or if you have any questions after I show it and show some of my examples, then, you know, then we'll talk. I'm trying to squeeze so much information into one thing. It's, this, is not like a, this is not like a class or anything. Right? <laughs> okay, so what I have first... 
I have a lot of like flow books. These are like flow books and booklets. I also have in here those rub-ons that I got. You know, I showed you all these big rub-ons. Here's my little Janet paper. This is stuff, rub-ons, stickers, all that can be used. And you'll find you're going to use a lot. You'll use it a lot. Okay. <laughs> All right, we got a little flashed out again. Hey, guys, I'm working it here. Let's draw, turn the brightness down just a little because it's so uh, bright. Okay. <clears throat> um, then I wanted to show you again. Here's some of my cutouts from color books. And I want to do a page with these today <coughs> to give you an example. A fall page with some fall leaves, even if you just use one of these. But I have a bunch of examples here to show you how you can use your color book. You can use everything, people. Everything. Every syllable. Every syllable can be used in this book. Okay? <laughs> I use a lot of cutouts from Daphne's, Daphne's Diary. They have all kind and any kind of book like this, right? Any kind of book like this, look, just look at the content page right here. Any of this stuff can be used in your book, okay? This is your, your, uh, your ideas. All right, so here we go. So the first thing I did is I have a, all kinds of plastic dividers. So I'm going, here's the thing. You take what you want of this, and if it, it you do not have to do everything I'm showing you. You collect what you like. If you do not like washi tape, do not collect or use washi tape. If you do not like using magazine bits, do not use magazine bits. <laughs> if you don't like old ephemera, don't use old ephemera. Use what you like. This is multiple things. I like everything. <laughs> so the first thing I did is I have these plastic dividers. Okay, again, this particular book is just for collecting syllables. My actual pages are not going in this book. They're going in this book. They're going in this book. <laughs> but they, your pages can go in your Society of Idea Collecting Notebook. I made a separate book because when I make my videos, I don't want to have to be digging around trying to find my pages in my Idea Collecting Notebook. I don't want to have to be hunting them to show you, right? I want them all in one place so I can, I can show you guys, okay? Oh. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Terry. There you go. So what I did is I first put some washi tape on these plastic dividers. This is all different uh, washi tape, and I'll, I'll talk about splotches and, and color swatches here for a minute, in a minute. But on the, um, I have washi tape samples. Now, y'all know, I have all kinds of washi tape um, that I keep on my desk. But if you want some, you want to collect stuff together, collect some syllables together so it's not overwhelming. Because I know how we all can get overwhelmed with so much stuff. So if you have a notebook where you're keeping all your syllables, and you could, you yourself, could keep your pages, keep your finished pages in your syllable collecting book. I think it's get, it would kind of get maybe a little too convoluted, but, you know, I I don't know. It's kind of cool. It would be kind of cool just to have a page in, in the middle of your washi tape, uh, you know. It's a, what works for you. It's what works for you. So I have all these different uh, pages of washi tape that I put out here, and uh, these are like bases, okay? I'm going to talk about having bases. Um so, yeah, I just have a little bit of washi tape on every one. Before I get into this, let's go back. Okay. So, if you want to pre-make, let me get a brighter one to show up. If you want to make any pre-painted um, pages, uh, you can. Okay. If you want to, say, make, you know, there's four or five weeks in a month. If you want to make five pages, let's say in Christmas you like red and green. So let's say your December pages, you might have a red one, a green one, a gold one, and then another red and another green one. So you'll, you know, you have five pages for the month of December already ready 
to throw some stuff down on. You do not have to do this ahead of time. I Remember, guys, I'm doing a lot of this ahead of time to show you, to show to you guys what you can do. Do not feel like you have to go and make 52 starter pages, and I'll tell you why. One, things are going to change throughout the year. You're not going to like this same thing every, you know, a whole bunch of these. You're not going to like the same thing for a year probably. So if you do something like this, I would recommend a month. You know, pick a color, cut, pick two colors, pick three colors for the month, okay? Pick a couple colors for the month. But again, be ready to insert special events like Veterans Day. Okay? Be ready to insert something because this would not, oh, well, red would work. But, you know, um, let's just say you did a fall. Let's say you did November and you did yellow, orange, and red scrape paint, you know, bases. Well, this blue is not going to, even though this is in November, that's not going to work. So, you know, you can do weekly pages. You could do weekly pages with your little calendar cutouts, okay? Whether it's a large one like this. And I just cut this out myself. This is just my hand cut out one, okay? But you can, to make it easier on yourself, you can just cut out your week on a, out of a, on a calendar, Okay, hi CB, whatever cut, whatever calendar, old dollar calendar you have, you know, just pick a size you think you're going to like. Or you could do like 11 was a special day, but, you know, then we got 12, 13, 14, you know, you can have one special square and have all the other squares just small. It's so personal, guys, that's the thing. There's so much personalization to this. That whatever works for you. But I do have a few of these that I made just to show you. Um, you can start with some bases if you want. Okay. This is just scrape paint. This is the mermaid marker. This is watercolor. Whatever you like. I got acrylic, watercolor, mermaid markers, whatever as just a base. Just to show you how this started. Okay, this is just smaller. You can make them bigger. Here's my bigger one. Where's the bigger one? Here's a larger one. And I have lines on this. So you can have it as a journal. And I'll show you that in a minute. You can journal. You can plan. You can do your art. You can use your stickers. You can use your, um, all your, all your pretty, you know, stuff. Okay. Um, creative design home base camp. <laughs> Pagola. Pagola, your wheels are turning. Okay. Uh, yeah, I've got everything right. In <laughs> I have done some studio tours, Jerry. It's been a while. Um, here's my problem because my, you know, my camera is a, you know, it's a webcam. It's attached to my laptop, right? I need to do a, I, I need to do a studio tour on my phone which would be an HD because y'all know you stream we don't have HD here so <laughs> but that's a good idea I should do that Jerry on my phone do a web you know do a tour but I'm you know having to pull a book off of a shelf and hold the kit you know hold my phone I don't know maybe I could get Hubster to film it while I'm talking about it but okay all right so here's another option for you and again take you know how's the saying goes uh, chew up the meat, spit out the bones. So whatever, you know, whatever you, it appeals to you will work for you. Whatever ideas. I put as much ideas into this as I possibly could think of. And I know I'm going to have more. But I wanted to get you all started on collecting your syllables so that when you go to make your pages, you, starting in January, or you can start now. I've started now. You know, I did. Uh, I did Veterans Day. You know, uh, you can start now. You, you, I never. I'm not one to wait till. You know, like people say, well, New Year's resolutions. I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to quit smoking. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that on January first. I, I, I think that kind of defeats you right out the gate. Um, to me, if you know something needs to be done, you should do it now. <laughs> Don't wait till January 1st, okay? So, that's just me. Don't email me. Okay, so, I did, um, I collected some things up. Now, here's a couple different ways you can do if you have plastic, okay? 
you have there's pockets there's you know this one happens to have pockets these dividers I got them all at Staples this particular one has pockets so you mm -hmm. if you're doing mm -hmm. a, a theme a bigger you know theme then you could have lots of things in your pockets. I also use, and some of it, I use the repositionable tape, uh, the little, like these tape runners. Okay, this is the glue dot repositionable. You could use, I found that that worked okay for thin things, but some of the thicker ephemera didn't really hold it. See, it's still stuck there, but, you know, some of the stuff's probably fallen off when I flip it because I've gone through this so many times. But um, you could also just use a glue stick on thin things. Like um, here. I don't have a small. Oh, here. This leaf. So you can just take your glue stick and just put a little glue. And if you put it on a piece of plastic, just kind of put it on there and kind of twist it a little. Kind of gives it a little tooth. And so you could just stick things on your plastic. Or if they're larger, put them in a put them in a pocket, right? Whatever works for you. I just found that when if I have things stuck on the outside, as long as they're stuck okay, um, even if you use double-sided tape, the double-sided tape when you pick this off would probably the double-sided tape itself would probably stay on the plastic. You know, then you could just replace it with something else. Um, yeah, there you go. Julie uh, Topaz says she doesn't make resolutions. She sets intentions. So here's just, I, I'm trying to give you as many examples as I can. So like, let's say spring. Okay. So I got some birds, some butterflies, some flowers. I can do this, uh, you know, although this to me is a fall leaf. But you could color this green. Okay. I have a couple squares and smashed things in here. Okay. So here's a couple other things I did. Again, guys, please do not feel like you have to do every single one of these. Write them down. Develop it as you feel comfortable. Add to it. We'll have this video I'm recording. So, I do my main pages on cardstock, right? You can do them double-sided. So, that will keep down the, uh, the cardstock bulk right and let's just say you decided to do you know your 52 weeks and maybe say 10 special events I'm just guessing you can do a thousand special events right get you a binder this thick it doesn't matter to me but I'm doing them on card stock but you can also do them front and back so let's say you do week one week two okay and then week, you know, week three and week four, you could do that. So you'd only have like two or three pages for a week because you're doing them front and back. Okay. Now I did a couple of these to show you. I just did some paint, just and this is just on notebook paper. I mean on uh, copy paper, right? But what I wanted to show you is some ideas for your background. So like this one's blue, but let's say I wanted to do a spring leaf thing. And I didn't want to get out my paint. I didn't want to, you know, wait for this to dry. So here I have either one of two things. Either I've pre-painted my cardstock, or I've got three or four sheets of a color. And I, I think I did, you know, pretty much ten colors or something, the basics. Red, yellow, blue, green, purple, pink, you know. I did um, a, a uh, just a, on thin copy paper, a swatch of color. The reason I wanted to do this is because if I don't want to get out paint and all that right at the moment, I can take this and I have a little square or a little swatch of green all ready for me to put on a piece of cardstock. So there's my base. It's all ready. Okay. And you can keep, you know, you can add another little piece here. So you can throw together a thing a week. You could, you know, have, like, let's just say you were doing a special something for the 11th, okay? Or if you can take your whole week and put them all out on that same page. And here's the thing about the syllables, doing it the syllable way, <laughs> is you can move these around, okay? So let's just say 2 and 3 might have been Sunday, Saturday and Sunday, you didn't have a lot going on, but you want them on your page. 
Okay, so you can have Saturday, Sunday, then you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You can have them down here. Again, you can put little color squares. I could put green around these, or and this is just the plastic right here, but you want it on cardstock. Um, you could take a green marker and and doodle around your little squares. You know, there's just it's just so personable. But by having little syllables, you're able to manipulate your stuff for the week or the month if you want to do a month ahead okay all right so I'm gonna keep flipping here then here's summer so I have some flowers and then I had some more splashes ready and then I have a pe couple pieces of terribles okay <laughs> this is just where you can tear this up okay Again, uh, okay, this was winter. I think this one was winter. No, this is just some. Oh, and then I also, I put post-it notes on all of them. Just to show you, post-it notes are your friends for the week. So if you don't want to write on your little squares for the week, write everything on a post-it note. And at the end of the week, you can adjust your week, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Okay, so I'm going to keep flipping here. This is just the colors right here. Okay, I just have some color tabs. So I just did all the different colors. Here's winter, some white butterflies, some white flowers. This one was cut out of a scrapbook pad. So if you have your scrapbook papers, tear little bits out, cut things out, use all that stuff. You can use everything. You can use everything on these pages. Okay. Here's a bunch of uh, just purple flowers. So this is into my purples here. So here's all different. This is out of, uh, I think this this bit right here is out of um, my Daphne, Daphne's Diary. Um, these are a faux ephemera. This is cut out of scrapbook paper. These flowers are cut out of scrapbook paper. So having everything in a binder like this that you can flip through and say, okay, I'm going to do a page today. What color do I want to use? Do I want to use purple? Do I want to use blue? Do I want to use light blue? Do I want to use medium blue? So you have a little bit of color choices here. You can also throw some paint chips on here. So if you got some blue paint chips or let's say you got some um, like here. Um, you know your project life cards uh, if you don't know how to start you don't know where to start start with the project life card start with one leaf that you hand color okay start with one leaf you hand color um, or any of this okay so these are some pages out of either flow or some magazine I just put a couple of those in there you could use a page like this as your base okay so let's just take one of these out I'll show you I really need to cut out a whole week of, I need to cut out a whole week. I've been using these same little ones. Okay, so let's just say this is going to be your week of November, whatever. You know, you could have, there's, you know, you can put your little uh, squares, and they could be circles. I, the reason I'm saying squares is because, um, the calendars that you buy see we're using just a, a a calendar like this and cutting out the squares and then you can go around them you could you know cut like one could be green yellow and another shade of green to make it tie in with your page your piece of paper that you like you just might say i love this paper i'm never going to use this paper what can i use this paper for well make it one of your bases and again you can make your own bigger squares. This is a three inch square. These are the squares in a calendar. You can just use, you know, like that, you know, put them however you want, right? Okay, so let's keep moving here. I'm trying to show you this. I collected this whole notebook for you guys for examples. Okay, all right, here's some fall uh, butterflies in oranges, monarch butterfly colors. Again, some pieces of paper. This one's on cardstock that could be a base for a start. And then these are pieces of copy paper that just have paints, um, mermaid markers, watercolor, acrylic, whatever kind of paint. Uh, your magicals, you know, anything that you have just painted, and you then you can tear these up. 
So these are made, these ones here are made to tear up and use on your main pages. So I have a bunch of those in here. Okay. All right, so again, here's some more of these pe pretty papers. They could be bases. Here's a, I had this in another notebook with my name on it. Um, word bubbles. So the word bubbles, I thought, well, I think that's going to be, that's further back. Okay, hang on to the word bubble. Um, scrapbook papers or papers out of magazines that have little designs on them. These are awesome to keep in your syllable binder syllable binder because then when you need something you can just okay let's just say you want a little bit of teal color well you got a little smidgen of teal right here okay you got a little smidgen of teal to use you got a little syllable there you could put this could be a date this could be November and, a, and an 11 or whatever you know this could be on your date. These little squares. Just a little bit of glue and there you go. You got something kind of pretty for that day. Then you can just put these in your sleeves. I have lots of, um, um, what do you call it, uh, page protectors. Page protectors are your friend with your syllable collecting. Okay. Here's a whole bunch of different color book bits. Okay, so a couple of color girl, uh, color book girls with the florals. I have probably about maybe eight or ten pages right in here of different color book pages that are in here that I can pull at any time. <clears throat> There's more. Here's some shells, some bugs, a grasshopper. Again, I pulled these leaves because we're going to use these later. These are all out of the more, the least, the less expensive color books or Creative Haven, or any of those. You know, keep some of these on hand. Again, you know that this is not all the color book bits I have, but I, I just collected some, okay? Grasshopper could be on my spring page. You know, shells could be on a summer page. And if you don't know what colors to go with, then go to Design Seeds or a paint chip and get your color collected. We've done color collecting shows here multiple times. Okay, here's some different, these are clip arts, um, <clears throat> different clip art bo uh, books. Here's some, um, uh, these are just, I've made copies of some alphabets. Again, clip art books. This is made on just copy paper. Cut your letter out if you want to do a main word spring, cut out the S, color the S, and then handwrite the rest. Okay. Um, you're welcome, me. Um, the same thing for these. These are partially colored leaves. Okay. So let's just say I just threw on some watercolor over the top of these. Again, guys, I tried to collect as many ideas as I could for you guys. So here's a little syllable right here. It's a little leaf syllable. <laughs> cut your little leaf out this could be some you know whatever whatever page you know it's it's anything okay so you have some leaves then you could go in here and shade it and color it. you can color as much and to your heart's content right um here's some more things that i've um copied off and just threw some paint on just to show you use your color book stuff Use your color book stuff. <laughs> but if you keep some of these pages in your syllable binder, then when you go to start a page, then flip through your binder. Flip through your ideas and see what appeals to you. Okay? Um, and, you know, and I've already stuck all these on here. That's why I'm saying I'm showing you this now. If you want to start this whenever you want, um, You'll have a bunch of your ephemera. Where's my list? Again, let me read the list. Words, silhouette cutouts, quotes, stamped, stenciled, washi, color book swatches, color swatches, your project life cards, collage bits, magazine bits, ephemera, rub-on, stickers, your own doodles, your own drawings, magaz oh, I said magazine bits, thoughts, notes, calligraphy, your own hand lettering. Your paper clips with, you know, your own little ribbons, you know. 
again, I didn't invent this. Don't email me. Um, your calendar bits. You know, your calendar squares. I'll just call them calendar squares. But, you know, they can be whatever you want. They can be hand done, your own size, or cut up a calendar. for If you're wanting to keep your planner and your society of idea collecting all together okay um you got all your planner stuff your stickers your letters your dates you know all your stamping all your um you know all your your stamps your little stamps i have just this jar of stamps right here and janet's tracking um <laughs> So, you know, all your stamps, you got letters, you got whatever, you know, keep all your stamps handy. Um, also, I pulled this to sh uh, as an example. Remember I put washi tape at the beginning? Well, look, here's a couple of things of washi tape. One stamp, uh, a swatch of orange, and you have your Halloween page. So, it's, it's everything you've got in there. I mean, everything that you've collected up can all be in one binder, okay? And that's why I call it syllables, because it's the bits that make up the whole, okay? Um, these are all just little cutouts, and I just um, I just uh, put a little, um, did I put a dot of glue on there? Yeah, okay, oh yeah, so this has got a glue dot. The repositionable, use repositionable, guys. Glue dots, or... Um, a, just a little bit of your glue stick and and I just have it on there and then I can just stick it on the plastic this is just a plastic divider plastic divider it has pockets it has a pocket but it also is plastic so I can just stick all this stuff on here either with a glue stick a glue dot double-sided tape test it out and see what works for you but the main thing is just sleeves just page protectors just pocket page protectors and just shove everything in it the, the the reason i like this kind of thing where i'm sticking it on top of the plastic divider or plastic sleeve is you see all this if i took all these bits and put them in here i might as well just be digging out of a bowl right i might as well just be digging in here because i'll be digging <laughs> So if you have them kind of stuck where you can see it and flip through it, then you're apt to say, okay, write your own story. This is red. This is Christmas. I want to do a Christmas page. Here's a little, you know, bit for that day. It's got the little double-sided sticker, sticky, repositionable. That'll peel right off if I want. So, But I'm not going to use that right now, so I'm going to stick it back down. <laughs> Bye, Juju. Thank you. Okay, a whole nother page of little cutouts, little words. You could do a word page, and I'm going to show you something else here with the words in a minute. If you like to collect words in magazines or Project Life cards or scrapbook papers or whatever, this is a great way. And again, you're never going to put everything you own in this binder. But as you come across new stuff, you're going through your ephemera and you go, I really need to use that. Put a little bit of um, uh, double-sided tape or glue stick on the back and stick it to your plastic sleeves. The rest of this is all plastic. Look, this is all page protectors. And so you can use the outside of the page protector to stick things on. And you can also, larger things, you can put inside. Okay, so I'm going to keep flipping here. Here I did this as all shapes. I got stripes, I got dots, you know, I got little things like this. So I just made a page of shapes. You can make this any way you want. Again, this is just a little page of triangles, very cute little designs. This might make a good, like, square base. It might make a good little bits. You could make a banner with all those. Just, you know, whatever. Here's some more line stuff. So if you want to write things. So again, you got your, I'm just, I keep pulling this one for now, but uh, let me pull this one. Okay. So here's one where I've overdid the lines. Okay. I did all kinds of my own lines, lines, lines. So what I did is I made this bit. Okay. I did this part here in the middle 
and then I drew lines wherever there was a blank place. So this can be your journal. You can stick your, you know, one day. You can stick two days worth of whatever, you know, planning you got. They can all be just stuck down on top of this. And you can write your own lines and you can do all your own journaling. Sideways, right side up, you know. So, um, yeah. So, if you want to fill a page, if you don't want to just do, you know, a central theme with your um, week, okay? If you don't want to just do a central one thing with the week, you can do a whole journaling page where you're journaling. But you also can be your week if you want. You know, have a couple days up there, one day here, major day here. And so you filled up, you have filled up a page with your week or three days or just one day. Totally up to you. You can put as many days as you want on a page or just have a main event day and put that on there and write about that. Or you can put lines here. Draw your own lines. You like this me? Draw your own lines all around the blank pages. You can go this way. You can go this way. You can write some lines here. You can put one quote. Uh, I just tucked the little quotes that I, I wrote on little pieces of paper under there. But you could draw lines here and do your own, you know, write out the quote. Calligraphy it however you want. Everything can go on a page, including your planning. Okay, all right, so here's some lines. And so if you don't want to draw lines, if you don't want to draw your own lines, cut out lines, cut out notebook paper, graph paper, paper that has whatever kind of lines, ledger paper, any kind of paper you want to write on. I got ledger paper in here too in a minute. Okay, so here's one of my little fish that came off. <laughs> and again, here's the kind of the tip if you want it to stick. Kind of stick it down and kind of like, like kind of mash it in if you're using uh if you're just using a glue stick to uh pay you know stick something on your uh plastic if you kind of just kind of do that it'll stick better and it'll cut it'll come peel right off okay all right so again here's a pretty paper um and i put this in here to remind you to use your scrapbook papers you can cut out every one of those little flowers you could use a little piece of this as a base or you could have a red swatch and a piece of this okay here's a whole bunch of little squares of flowers okay again they're just stuck on there with you know glue stick some of them are glue stick and some are with glue dots get repositionable you know uh, I don't think you'd have any problem getting anything off these plastic sleeves though and you could peel anything off of these plastic sleeves okay Okay, so here's where I have these quotes, and I have that other sheet of quotes, too. They're just little bubble quotes, but I, I, I stuck down a whole bunch of my Tim Holtz kids, you know, the, the, your, your adopted family. <laughs> you know, Tim, Tim Holtz has all these uh, packages of a faux femora, faux family. Well, I stuck a whole bunch of them down here, and I thought, you know what, some of these quotes uh, bubbles will be good. Um, or, or, you know, you can always just cut this shape out. If you don't know how to do one, you can, you know, trace a shape of a, a speech bubble. But I just like the way these look. So, you know, this would be a cute little page. Just like I used a little um, Uncle vintage Uncle Sam and vintage doll for my Americana page, my uh, Veterans Day page. I could put one of those speech bubbles right here next to Uncle Sam, right? Could use one of these speech bubbles. Put that right there, and instead of handwriting the little quotes on little pieces of paper, I could write the quote on here and have Uncle Sam be saying, you know, freedom isn't free, right? Something like that. So it's so personalization. It's so personal. So here's a whole bunch of those kids. Again, they're just stuck on here. They're just stuck on here with the repositionable dots. Okay, so here's a couple that have fallen off because <laughs> I probably got in a hurry. Okay, this one I think I had in here. Okay, so these are little words. A couple of them fell off because, I, like I said, I got in a hurry. Now, you can always stick them in the sleeve, um, but if you do that, you're going to be digging. That's why I like them stuck on here. 
So use the repositionable. Here we go. Let's see if I can get this. To, I don't know if, how much is left in here. Let me come over here. And put a repositionable dot. It's just a dot. Oh, it didn't come off. There we go. A dot on there. And then you can just stick them on here. I think I did these with uh, uh, glue stick and didn't put enough. So just stick them on anywhere. Okay. Whoops. Come back here. And then these are little quotes. These are little, um, these came in some kind of a, a package of quotes. I've had these probably, I'm guessing 10, at least 10 years. I've probably had these quotes for 10 years. They sat in a baggie full of stuff, never used them. So what I did is I went through, found 10 or 20 of them to use. So if you don't know, if you want to do a theme uh, and you don't know what theme to do, for your week, you'll find something. Trust me, though. Something will happen in your week to make you a page. But you could add these. You know, pick your battles. You know, you could put that on something. You had a fight with somebody. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so there's, um, you can do your words here. Here are all kinds of, all right, this is another, these slid out. Um, here's another way to collect your, again, guys, remember, I did this in like a day I put this whole binder together in a day so <laughs> you know I should have been a little more careful with the glue but um, these are ATC sleeves so your ATC artist trading card baseball card sleeves can be used also to hold your mini bits so if you have a lot of these sleeves around throw your throw your little stickers these are stickers and cutouts put them in your little atc sleeves this whole binder thing is syllables bits bits and tiny parts of words or of a topic or a theme or a day they're syllables to use on your bigger pages okay on your bigger life <laughs> here's another one that came off okay so yeah. Uh, so stick them on your sleeves. Use the eight. I, I like this. I, I have a lot of these in my Society of Idea Collectors. I have these uh, ATC sleeves. I use these a lot in my Society of Idea Collector. You know, because it's just um, it's just easy. But I have lots of you know page protectors. This is all stuff on maps. Um, map paper. Map. My daughter Annie sent me these a few years ago. And again, see, this is why you like them all stuck on the outside. Because you got to do this bit. These are some little globes, globe tags, world tags. They're just little tags. Uh, I'm trying to show as many options as I can, guys. Um, here's This is vellum. Vellum pieces. And I just put those inside here. This I put one doily in here. I know I've got tons of doilies. All I need is one to remind me. One doily will remind me I have doilies. <laughs> I don't need to put 20 doilies in here, right? You like it, me? Okay, so then all this stuff right in here is all kinds of... These are flow stickers, flow papers, um, more stickers. Whoops, come down here. A whole bunch of sheets of all kinds of stuff just in a sleeve here. Uh, again, you find one little illustration you like, whether it's in a magazine, a book, whatever, and you love it, you want to use it, you want it to be in your life, but you don't know how to use it and how to have it in your life, put it in your syllable book until you get to using it. And as you start, like I got, all these are arrows, and then this is a bunch of um, leftover, these acetates acetate pages from ATCs years ago um, okay again need to stick that one let's go ahead and stick this one down <laughs> I need both of them stuck down um, don't be in a hurry when you're trying to stick these down or you know if you think they're gonna fall off and it's gonna bother you just put them inside the sleeves all right so here's a bunch of different black and white black and white except here i found this old when i was going through all my stuff look at this 
I found a vintage Hello Kitty. This is from the kids back in 1970 something, I think. Anyway, uh, Hello Kitty Valentine. And that reminds me, I have a couple giveaways uh, for the Society Idea Collectors. Came across when I was d digging all this out. I found old packs, and I'll show you these. These are old um, ATC making packs that I sold on Etsy like seven years ago. I came across three of them in one of my bins. So I'm going to send one. I'm going to send this larger one to Eileen because y'all didn't know. She cracked a couple ribs this weekend. That's some love for Eileen, but I'm going to give away two more. And I'll show you what's in them in a, in when we get done with this. Okay, so here's a lot of black and white stuff. I like black and white on top of a color, uh, whatever color that is, yellow, whatever, and black and white stuff. Okay, so here's a bunch of, like, faux femora. You know, I think some of this is, I don't know, some might be Tim Holt, some of it might be uh, Graphic 45, but vintage stuff. Again, it's it's safer to put them inside a sleeve, but little bits like this, guys, put them in, at least put them in the ATC. Uh, you can get those at like Walmart or any store. They're usually up where they sell baseball cards. Sometimes it's staples. They're over, they're over with the plastic. These are just staples sleeves, right? 50 of them for $7 or something. And tr trust me, 50 is plenty. You don't need more than 50 of them. <laughs> with a piece of cardstock in there, you know. Okay, so here's a bunch more faux ephemera. Again, I just threw these in here because these were lines. These need to either be stuck down or glued down, whatever. I'm going to put them back in here. <clears throat> so these are all lines. Um, so this is where I was telling you, if you don't want to draw, if you don't want to draw your own lines, then get papers like here's a scrapbook paper that has lines. There's a tag that ha these are tags and things that have lines, um, but you can just use graph paper. Here I got a piece of that in here. You can use like this graph paper. Here's some line scrapbook paper. Put this on your page and do your journaling. So you can do journaling on your, uh, I kind of like that on that page. I might, I might put that on that page actually, but you, <laughs> then you can put, you know, a cutout, you know, and you can put your date, whether it's a small one, like, whoops, whether it's just one day, you know, here's Saturday the 4th, you can put one date on there and see the thing is, is you can shuffle them around. You can move everything around before you glue anything down. Okay. Something like that. Oops. Hang on, I'm dropping stuff. Um, okay. These are kind of like little advertisements. These are more like theme things, but again, you don't have to you know, wish you were here. This one is a little, you know, soap advertisement. Uh, you know, anything like this. Any of it. Here's a graphic 45 butterfly. Uh, tags. Just bits of pretty papers. Um, <laughs> I need to put... I think I didn't take my time to glue some of this down. Okay. So here's some words. Okay, here's the other thing I was going to tell you with words. If you have a lot of quotes, and this is from, this here is probably from 20 years ago. <laughs> I have no idea how long ago I put this one together. But if y'all remember your old photo albums that have the, you know, you pull up the plastic and this is sticky. This isn't even hardly sticky anymore. So I guess it's supposed to be magnetic. If you have any of your old photographs in that, please take them out. It will ruin your photographs. It will turn them yellow faster than anything. But they're great for little bits. of. <laughs> if you have some of these old photo albums and you are um, taking your old photos out of those albums, I think they still make some of these kind now. But I think they're acid-free. I don't know. I wouldn't put my photos in something like that, but I think they make those kind of, still make these kind of photo albums, but they're not, you know, old tape stuff. 
so you can use that for tiny stuff little tiny words quotes little tiny things that you know is probably going to get lost you know this i don't even know how old this is guys but i think i was doing atcs this has to be at least back before 2004 uh, when I was doing ATCs and collecting little quotes to use on ATCs in my swaps, right? Um, so this was a, this is a great way to keep little, yeah. <laughs> okay. So then I also put in here some graph paper. So if I just want to take and use a little bit of a piece of graph paper and put it on a page, I might use it on that example. And then, you know, just take what you got left here and put it inside of a sleeve. I'll put all my stuff back together later. Um, I have graph paper in here. I have cheap notebook paper in here. So if you want to hand write out a quote, hand write out the month, hand write out a date, a word, whatever, you know, to use, you know, like, uh, let's see, let me get my, here. Um, let me get, I'll just get blue here. So if you want this on your page, you can just write out November. And it just, you can just be in your own hand, right? It doesn't have to be anything fancy. But you can do that. You can cut this out and put that on your page. Okay? Cut, write your own. And this is just on, you know, cop on, on three ring binder. Okay, you use those in the savvy. I know. I took any and all of my photos that were ever in those binders out, and that's probably where I got these sleeves. So it's probably, you know, I only came across one. I probably threw everything, all threw the rest of them away. But this was in my big bins of stuff. Okay, so there's that. Here's just something from the Flow magazine. I really like this. It has a, a little, you know, twist chart here. This would be awesome on a page. You know, this would be awesome on a, uh, on one of your cardstock pages. Again, large quotes, magazine cutouts, leftover bits of, of your scrapbook paper. This, this is leftover from cutting down 12 by 12 pages um down to eight and a half by eleven and so these are the little strips off the end but they're so pretty i couldn't you know throw them away so if you had let's say let me get this yellow bit one here so let's take this one here and show I, and i'm showing you some of my in progress pages that i've moved around a hundred times that's one of the nice things about the syllables you have all your own little syllables you can move things around well look look how pretty this would be somewhere on this page you know whether you used it on an edge and poked your holes through that like look that would be an awesome et well of course a flower would be on top but you know you can use your your leftover strips for borders, edges. You could do little um, corners, little corners, right? So, you know, these kind of things. So now you have places to use all your little pieces that you have collected. You collect these too, yeah. You have all you have places to collect all your stuff and you can line your paper glue lines down you can journal you can write your quotes you can make it themed it can be your planner can be your calendar with the all you have to take is a cheap calendar and cut the squares out put your date on it this could be november 1st through 4th or just the 4th november 4th if something special happened on that then you have your little date okay all right, here's a whole bunch more stickers. All your planner stickers and your flow stuff, your um, cute little stickers and cutouts that are, this was, this was off of a greeting card, and I kept it because I like the little stockings, their little velvet stockings. You know, that could go on a Christmas page. All your stuff. I just put, all I did, guys, was collect some. 
a little bit of everything in a binder so you can see all the things that you can use okay here's a nice quote here's a bunch of stickers and just cool um cutouts and stickers and things out of either flow or out of uh, Daphne's diary or your planner stickers you know we all got stickers people not only do I have these stickers look I got bins and bins of stickers let me move this here's another box of stickers these are all tiny stickers these are all little stickers things that are little things that are tiny <laughs> all God's children have stickers <laughs> So I picked a few, and I just picked a few to put in my binder to show you. <laughs> Here's a couple cool papers. Again, you could use this as your base. This could be, not telling anybody to go drink any white rum, but let's say you went to a party. You went to a party on the 11th. If you don't like that, you could cover it up. Um, and you could write who was there at the party. Maybe put a picture of the people. There can be it can be a scrapbook. It can be a planner. It can be everything. Okay. And because everything, <laughs> you know, can be moved around in a three-ring binder, you know. Again, this is just my syllables in here. My actual binder where I'm going to do this again. You can put all this these pages that you're making. You can put them in your Society of Ideal Collector Notebook. It can be in your composition book. It can be in anything. I'm going to put mine in a separate notebook because I'm doing, I'm going to show you guys what I do. And so I want, I want it separate. I want to be able to easily grab this and show you guys. So this is what I'm doing. You know, these are some of the pages I've done. So I want to show you. So I'm going to make this my, my um, syllables binder. But you don't have to have a special binder for it. Just saying. And all these are just three ring at the at Staples. Okay? <laughs> so again, and here's like this was a little paper doll out of flow. Okay, with all kinds of little clothes. That would be a cute little page. Here's some magazine cutouts. Um more magazine cutouts and just all different kinds. Here's a piece of, um, you know, fancy paper. Um, here's uh, some tissue paper, some ledger papers, uh, tickets. I mean, um, game, you know, where you play your games, uh, where you have to write down scores and everything. Some of that. Um, calendar papers leftover bits of calendar here's some of those um, uh, camera paper uh, you know all kinds of magazine bits calendar bits that you really like now again if you like eyes in fashion magazines I do not recommend cutting out a thousand eyes unless you plan on putting eyes on every single page. But if you have a couple things in your binder, you will remember, oh yeah, let me go get out my fashion magazine. That will just remind you. Now here's the one that I really, I really like. Um, these are a whole bunch of little robots. Let me just take this whole sleeve out. This was a whole bunch of robots that were in a I had a book where of uh, of collectibles like you know how to collect things toys vintage everything and there's a whole bunch of robots in here so what I wanted to do is make a page don't be a robot <laughs> anyway so <laughs> I have tons of these little robots and y'all remember these little things they're trans from the transformers people have actually collected these they look like robot heads to me couple of eyes on there and you got a robot head so I stuck these with my robots <laughs> and I thought I would make a page just a quick one just to kind of show you you know something um, again it can be a dated thing a planner thing or it can just be a theme it could be a quote don't be a robot it can be its own page it doesn't have to be you know um, November 13th page right or the week of November 13th. It doesn't have to be for that week. It can just be its own thing. Okay, so then I have a couple blank pages left in here. So I'm going to pull this out because I want to use it. Okay, so now I'm going to take a moment, catch my breath, take a sip of cold coffee. 
and have you asked any questions or did I over explain but anyway so this is a binder for me to have um, and they're all just either it's either plastic dividers with pockets or most of it you know I got probably no no maybe 30 or 40 in here I bought a pack of a new pack of 50 50 page protectors and I just put a piece of cheap cardstock you can get a pack of cardstock and that's all I'm gonna use for these I'm gonna use just cardstock I want a white blank page a white blank page for whatever theme or week or whatever because you're gonna make it more personal okay lines cutouts your little squares of your calendar whatever it is lots of journaling okay I made a whole bunch of paper clips um, I got tons of paper clips that I've made because <laughs> I also use it again this is what I use to take um, this is like my spiritual journal and my book notes like when I'm reading a book so I've got lots of little things here. I have it all divided up with the thing here. So this, my Travelers is separate for my reading. Because I read a lot, I want to be able to, if I want to take notes, annotate, or anything like that, it goes in here. So that's what my Travelers journal is, is for books. Now, again, you don't have to have a separate book journal. You can have that in your, not this, you can have it in your Society of Idea Collecting. However, if you don't read lots of books and you just want to take some notes, you don't need an, a separate notebook for um, note taking for books. You know, you can have a, a tab for every, every one can have a different topic. If I read history, if I read theology, if I read fiction, if I, whatever. You know, I can read, you know, whatever can be in my my trap. And this is just a faux one. This is the uh, one, the Recollections brand. This is just the Recollections brand. I think they're regularly $9. I had a 50% off coupon. I think I got this and two or three inserts. It either had two or three inserts for 5 bucks. So, um, so for 5 bucks, I made this. I already had extra papers. I have, I made all these with ribbons. I have tons of ribbons sitting around. Paper clips you can get in a tin at Walmart for two dollars. And then this is the book I'm reading currently reading right now. So I'm taking notes on this, and that this is like separate from from this. <laughs> but I, I, you know, not everybody likes tons of different notebooks, journals, sketchbooks. I can keep up with it. Okay. Okay, Meep, I'm recording. Um, I can keep up with multiple notebooks and journals and, uh, you know, but not everybody can. You have a book read a book reading journal too, Julie? Yeah. And Julie, Julie was reading, a, I don't know, a couple books a week at the time. I don't know. I haven't kept up with her reading. but So again, you can use your dividers here. Or it doesn't have to be a divider. It can just be your page protectors. And put some washi tape in here. Obviously, this is not all my washi tape. But um, I keep some. Okay, I keep some. And if you missed where I talked about this, you know, a page, a swatch page, you know, I'm re I recorded all that. So I've got washi tape on all my dividers. Okay, so you can keep track of, you know, this is some of the, the blank washi tape. Jane Davenport, I think, blank, you know, the plain, nothing on it. So I put a whole bunch of those on here. Okay, okay, so some questions. Pacola, syllable journal is a collection of bits and anything that speaks to us or sparks our interest, organized into a binder or book, ready to be used, exactly, ready to be used in creating pages for calendars, journaling, art, and other visual ideas. Can you please email me that, Pacola? I would love to, <laughs> I'd love that perfect description, but I, don't, I can't write it down now. It'll scroll off before I get two words down. Um, I love that. So it's a great uh, explanation, Pacola. I'm going to have to send you a little treat for that. 
let me get one. I'm going to send Pacola a treat. Wait, what was my... I know I got some... Uh, let me grab a... Uh, reaching over here, guys. Where's my black pen? Send Pacola a treat. Gotta send me the quote first, though. Send me that quote. <laughs> So again, for instance, if we were doing a Halloween page, you got washi tape, you got your stamps, you know, a bit swatch of orange and black, you, you know, a, a picture that you hand drew of a pumpkin, okay, a little pumpkin you drew, uh, a, a little um, stamp, anything like that, and you can make you a day, you know, put your day, October 31st, or a bigger day, you know. And write what happened and whatever. A tip for sheet protectors for larger pieces. Slit the outside. Fold it halfway down. And easier to reach in. Ah! Awesome, Terry. So Terry is saying if you take a page and put a slit in it, you can reach down in there. Awesome, Terry. You need a treat too, Terry. <laughs> That's a great idea. Never would have thought of that, Terry. So yeah, put a slit in your page protector and you can get down on the littler bits. Awesome. Okay, so again, this big binder here, I have my, you know, this is my, my most current Daphne's Diary. I have a whole bunch of stuff in here from Flow, uh, different things in here. I also have all my, those rub-ons I bought. I have those in here. So this binder is not, for me, this binder is not going to be used for my actual pages because it's all full of stuff I'm going to use. It is a three inch binder. And you saw every bit of this. There's something on every page except maybe those last two. Um, this, so when I go to make a page, this is all stuff I love and have tons of around my studio. But am I going to go dig in every box, every bit of washi tape, every Project Life card, every magazine, every, you know, I'm not going to go dig through all that stuff. So it just sits there. It sits and never gets used. If you do something like this and keep some syllable collections in a binder, and then when you use a bunch of it and you find some more in your stash, stick it back in here. Keep, you know, just, you know, you're not going to get much more than that in here, right? <laughs> oh, slit the, no, slit the outside fold. But inside, oh, you're talking about on the edge? Yeah, I'm thinking this way so that you have double pocket. You can put big sheets in there, and then your little bits can be down at the bottom. Yeah, however, you could cut it any way. I just would never have thought to cut it at all, Terry. So, yeah, so this is going to be my syllables binder. I have I love this page with her reading a book, and it just looks like, you know, and I have a little thing that says glue on there. All right, so let me move that to the side. Oh, a couple other things have laying around. I found these laying around. You know, these are the Tim Holtz words. Those are all good for your pages. All right, so now let me go to the pages I have here. Um, let me get my binder here. So, again, this is where I'm going to keep my pages. These are in progress. I'm not going to show you these. I have a few pulled here to show you with multiple different kinds of things on them. So you can fill the page if you like a full page. If you want your page, and some of this I just pulled just now, so they're not, you know, it's not glued down. If you like a full page and you want a journal, you want your little calendar, you want whatever all on your page, then fill it up. Journal, journal, make your lines, journal, or just use a scrapbook paper or, or a pre-lined piece. Journal on that. Okay, there's a little coffee cup cut out. Whatever, this is cut out of a scrapbook paper, floral pad. These are some of the, you know, bloom where you're planted and all that. You know, this is a piece of ribbon right here, that little, little um, stem right there. So you can do this, okay? Or you can keep it as simple as just nothing, nothing on here except, say, maybe one square of what happened that day. 
okay you know it just just your your planner for that one day or it could have a bunch of days on there you could have your whole week on there i lost all those now i don't know where they are in this stack of stuff you know you could have uh all your oh here they are you could have as many days of the week as you want on there you can color these outline them you could glue them on and just do a scratchy line around them and square around them so it can be your planner okay if you want to make your own planner pages put a week on a page but i would recommend not gluing your week down to the end of the week that way if something more important happened on the third or you know and then nothing happened on those days you know what i'm saying you can you can move your syllables around in the meantime you can just cut your week out okay cut your week out paper clip it and then you know things happen you know just keep it keep your page together you can tack it down with you know your repositionable tape or or not it's totally up to you even if you just have one page a week and then if you have special things happening like veterans day you can make a separate page for that so your 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 planner could be on its own page that's say just decorated like this or something you know you could have all your days your planner days on a on a main page you know you could have your days all around here have your days wherever you want them and this could be the week of november the first week of november there's your first week of november but this happened um, veterans day happened maybe y'all went on a picnic maybe you had a get together maybe um you know uh julie topaz went to the v the you know the veterans met with veterans you know she could have a, a special page that could go behind that week so here's your main week you could have a big november first through whatever you know seventh whatever the i don't remember the day how they're broken up but that could be this week but during that week this happened and they all fit in a three ring binder okay uh seeing the weekend at michael's seen what at michael's seen michael's i didn't see what you saw i'm sorry mel it scrolled off i don't know what you saw at michael's you mean these this is the last thing I think I showed from Michaels. These uh, Recollections Faux Travelers. Okay. You had a blowout party for the vets. We'll see. Then this might be what, this is, might be your week, but this happened on Veterans Day. And then you can, you could journal all around here. You can do a square or, or however you want to do it. Okay. Um, here's one that's in process. I just wanted to show you a couple, like, very simple things. I started with a swatch of purple, or it might have been, uh, might have been mermaid markers. I don't remember. Uh, it might have been a spray of dilutions. And then I kind of washed it out with a, a water brush. This is a cutout from the scrapbook paper pad of florals. This is a, a faux ephemera pack. I think from Tim Holtz, some washi tape. Here we go. Very simple page. I could use my little grid here to journal on. You can put your dates. You can put uh, you can put your calendar pages, your your you know your calendar squares. It can be as simple as this. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to show you different ones. It can be as simple as just that. And look how pretty that is. I just went with purple and yellow. That's how I determined this, purple and yellow. Okay, um, and then you can, you can put your own lines, or I don't even, when I, most of the time, I don't use lines, but I did this page with lines just to show you, you can draw lines if you want. I can pretty much write straight without lines, but a lot of people like the way lines look on a page. You know, you got the lines, you got no lines, you got bifocals, trifocals, no. <laughs> anyway, so you can use your little squares, and this could be the page uh, where's my little November? Where's my November word? Uh 
<clears throat> this could be November and you can have however many days you know November uh, 2nd through 4th you can put as many or as few as you want you know days you can make one day multiple days whatever and then I usually like a little paper clip because I like the way it looks I like I think it's pretty so I'll put a paper clip and if something else comes up um, you know something else comes up I can just tuck it in there until whenever okay a quote a happening you know a party invitation if you're using it as a planner you can you know stick whatever you know just to this is these are just some samples for you okay here's another one this one again I've got I started with a um, card this is all one card every moment matters this is off of a this little flowers off of a scrapbook pad this is out of uh, I don't know what another little square maybe out of the same pad all I did was start with a squat a, a swatch of red and some splatters this is cut out of scrapbook paper. There's a little photo corner, a little paper clip, a piece of washi tape, and plenty of room down here for either um, your squares. Okay. Your, your planner squares. Or, even if it's just one day, and journaling. You can put lines there and journal. Okay. So it's, it's syllables. You take your syllables, you move your syllables around and create the, the page, the full story that you want. Whether it's one day, three days, five days, you know, however many days, you know. See, you see how you can move things around? You can move things around, shift things around, get it like you want. And by just kind of keeping a central, or even it can be on the side. Y'all know scrapbooking uh, layout techniques. Do a little one here. Do a little bit here. Leave a lot of space. Leave a lot of space for your big squares. Um, you know, if you want a big square for that day, leave plenty of room to write. But it's a little of everything. But also, don't forget, you can use your own color book bits. Okay, your own drawings, like, like if I drew a bunch of leaves, I can make, you know, draw my own stuff. Okay, so I, I got a whole bunch of color book bits here, you know. So that's going to go in this binder. Uh, my pages are going to have their own binder. But if you, you know, just want to try a little bit of it, put them in your idea, your society of idea collecting binder. Okay. It all just depends on what you want to use it for. If it's not going to be a planner, then definitely just throw your pages with a theme into your society of idea collecting binder. If you're going to use it as a planner, you're probably going to want its own. You're going to want its own home. Okay, so now let me pick up some of this stuff so we can do a couple other little things here. Um, let me go back over the, the book here, the, all my notes. So remember, use your a calendar to cut your pages out. This has smaller squares. If these squares are too small for you, they have bigger ones. Uh, or you can just make your own, you know, cut out your own squares. And then you can decorate them yourself. You can take an ink pad. Um, take a, I don't even know how old, how old this pad is. You can ink around each square lightly. <clears throat> If you, you know, and I would say do a week at a time. Don't try to do a whole year at a time. You will not enjoy it. <laughs> you know, you'll keep yourself more interested if you know, oh, I'm going to make today's this week. And if all you do, if all you do is cut the squares out for the week and put a little decorative around it, you know, some, some uh, ink, you know, a doodle. 
planner for Christmas and mine incorporate. Yeah. So even if if you have a planner that has, uh, if you have one of the planners like the Me and My Big Idea planners, that has the uh, what do you call it pages? You know the arc system. It has the arc system. You can buy blank arc system pages. So buy you some blank arc page. You know the ones that you can just like. <laughs> <laughs> and do do your special events or one page a month do one page like this a month and put it in your arc binder your me and my big idea binder if you know you're not going to do tons of these pages then just do this on an arc cardstock Okay, so again, here's some of the things that you can put in your um, your syllables binder to collect things. Words, phrases, your silhouette cutouts, quotes, lined paper, stamped bits, you can use your stamps, a stencil. Instead of doing instead of doing a swatch like this of purple, take a stencil, make a stenciled background to work on top of your washi tape, your color swatches, either with paint or paper. You can use paint chips. Again, design seeds for color combinations. Your project life cards, things like this as in there. Collage bits, your faux ephemera or real ephemera. Rub-on, stickers, doodles, your mini drawings, your magazine bits, your thoughts, calligraphy or hand lettering, color book parts, your paper clips, uh, and the reason I say the paper clips, you don't have to do this, but it's just nice if you're um, going to use your, you know, keep your week together until you get to that, to the week. You like my sound effects. You know, you can keep your week together on a pretty paper clip. Uh, little words and phrases. Uh, your calendar cut up and you can either use the months and the dates that come on the calendar like that big November I had there and your weeks you can put you know if you want to use your calendar bits like this and you want this is just as you know has the dates Friday Saturday and you know it has the dates on there or the day but if you want that bigger hand write out Friday Saturday stamp it out make it your own personal personal bit um, anything that you have for your planners your stickers and all that your dates your months you know you can use all that on here uh, use different sizes if you use something small some things large it'll be more interesting so like here you know you might have a big word here and then you've got some littler bits you know then you have a bigger bit you know it just makes your page more interesting if you have a vary the size composition and you're going to learn composition by doing this too just like you learn shading and blending and color combinations with your color books you'll use you'll learn composition and all that with this method okay you can you can use any book again if you're not going to use as a planner you can just use a book like this you know you can use anything uh, but just remember they're adjustable switchable and movable Okay, um, use color book pages, your own art, and if you don't know how, the, some th use the themes that you've already collected in your Society of Idea Collecting. Use the themes you already have collected, right? Uh, albeit, like I said, my book reading is in a separate um, Travelers. Um, you know, it, it, you do it how, what works for you. Okay, I think, oh, post-it notes, use post-it notes to take daily notes. If, you know, something's going on, like I wanted to do a don't be a robot. Okay, I wrote it on a post-it note. You know, if you just want to stick it on, stick your post-it notes down until you're ready to do whatever. Um, date it, uh, date your pages. Let's see if I have anything else here. Um <clears throat> I think that's pretty much it. I think I pretty much covered everything for Society of Idea Collector. I think this is episode 14 or 15. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, so what I had here, let me get a piece of cardstock. 
I already have a bunch of card stock. I punched my own holes. Um, card stock, you know, piece of paper. But here's what I'm thinking. Like, all right, here we go. I've got all these little robots. And I have these, uh, like I said, these uh, old foam conductor things that look like robot heads to me. Here's some more robots. Got tons of robots. These were all out of um, a book where you collect things, and somebody collected robots. And I don't need this baseball guy or this flower. Then we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you um, those little packs that I found, and I'm gonna give two of them away. One's. Well, I got three of them. One's going to Eileen, because y'all know she cracks some ribs. Okay, Jan Janet, don't make her laugh. Okay, so let's just say you want to do, um, let me just get this little piece of scrap paper here. I'm going to do this real quick. I'm not going to use this. I'm going to use this. Um, let me just get a nice big Sharpie marker or um, just some of the, you know, my water-based markers. Here's a blue. Let's go with blue. What other colors? They're yellow and red. They're nice. They're bright colors. In a blue, a yellow, and where's a red in here? Maybe it's over here. Where's my red? I know there's a red in here somewhere. Hang on. Ah. Okay. Whoops. Pencils. Okay, so, you know, just I'm going to do this real quick just to show you, you know. You can do your you can do nicer lettering, but like just don't. And then you could do a B. robot. And again, guys, I'm this is just a quick example, okay? Let's do a don't be a, <laughs> you can take your, this is a Sharpie, so i got to be careful. You can go around and do doodles and, okay, play with your lettering. I'm just trying to do this quick just to show you. Oh, did I want to do a swatch? Let me see. So this is like when you don't want to wet, get everything wet. You can get out a piece of paper that you've already swatched. It's already dry. I'm flipping over to the blue papers. There's some blue. I'm going to tear some of this out. As a base. Can do and you know again guys this is not something I would I would do this much neater I do individuals like okay let's see and I don't even like that yellow I want a different yellow okay just to show you an example you could stencil you could let's get this robot here Again, I'm doing this real quick. I'm not even fussy cutting like I normally would. I'd fussy cut this robot out. Okay. All right, so. Let's get a bright blue and yellow one here. Let's, let's get three here. Oh, this one says robot on it, so that'll work. Like, don't be a, and then here's a robot, a wind-up robot. That's even better. Okay, so here's a, and again, I'd fussy cut it. Don't be, oh, and I might put a big B on there. Some robots. <laughs> and then what you'd want to do is you wouldn't want to be a robot. You'd want to be your own person. So you... I want that in another color. Where's my black? <laughs> well, anyway, I think you're getting the idea, right? <laughs> I think you're getting the idea. Let's do another one here. Let's do a blue one. 
and you know calligraphy or handwrite or cut out your letters or whatever and this could just be a theme you know it could just be whatever <laughs> actually I think I would just go with don't on here do I not want it in yellow though let's go with don't I'll just write it on here and then I'd probably cut out a giant black B. Let's go this way. So I think you're getting the idea, right? Am I, am, are you getting the idea? You know what I'm stepping in? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Vern? <laughs> now I need a big uh, B. Maybe I could just put, oh, that's not wide and oil. Oh, let's see if I can do it here. You can play with it you could you know this could be your motto for the year you know <clears throat> where's a let's see what paper clip a nice big yellow one put things on <laughs> you say this is really quick guys I mean this isn't supposed to be like you know but you could do your cutouts. Let's see what else do I have here. There's a word daily. There's a daily. It can be any word. I'm just showing you here. Cutouts. I just pulled some things out here. Here's a phone. Um, what else do I have in here? It's a little tags. These are just some handy little um, tabs and things. You can color this like so. Let's take a blue. Doing this very quick. You don't have to hurry like this. So I have a little tab. This would be cool as a nice red phone, a big red phone there. Um, where's my white? Okay. Well, you get the idea, right? You get the idea. <laughs> Here's a, let me get another post-it note here. Post-it notes. Make it balanced out. You know, there could be a, something there. And just play with it. You know, play with the little things. Move things around, get where you want. You put some dates on there. If you're really into robots, you can, <laughs> you know, nothing wrong with having that as a page. Um, I need to cut me out some more of those little um, squares because, oh, here's here's the here's one that has the first on it. Okay, do you get the idea? So use whatever. Use whatever you like okay any questions all right so there's just a quick little throw together just so you can see what I mean and again this is like Wednesday the first but it can be whatever you know all right you can put lines, and what I do for that is I just uh, take a ruler, just draw some lines, take some washi tapes. Let's see what I got here. I need something kind of bright and orange. Let's see what I got here. I had that orange one. Oh, here. This was my orange one. Piece of orange. Well, maybe, maybe. 
Well, <laughs> come on, a washi tape. All right, let me get another washi tape. <laughs> Here, this one's good. This one fits better anyway. I just had the washi one there for the Halloween. Here's a bright red polka dot. So we'll take that off, put that here, put that. So you see, you can just add lots of little things. Use up all your syllables. You can splatter, dot it, you know, whatever. Just like you would any other art creative project. Make it your own. Again, you know, we have all those strips, you know. Um, you got a little, you could take this out. Anyway, there's our example real quick. <laughs> okay, let me set that aside. All right, let me move all this to the side for now because I'll have a big mess to clean up after the show. But I wanted to show you as many samples as I possibly could. So use all your stuff. And if you have your stuff, you know, you got some calendar pages, you can make your own squares. You know, you don't have to use the ones on the calendar. You can make them bigger. Like this is a, I think this is a two inch. This is a three inch. If you want to make your own. Or you can just use the ones that come in a calendar. Because they already have all the special, you know, holidays and everything on them. Use that. Let's move this to the side. Okay. Let's see. Do I have anything else? Oh. Oh, yeah, I got my own special things to do. Yeah, here's, here's something I want to do a page of. There's football behind the eight ball. <laughs> what else do I have here? Oh, yeah, so, you know, you can cut out all kinds of magazine, um, you know, bits, words. Okay. Yeah, and it's kind of like a planner. Yeah, it's 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 all of it, all of the above. Let me get my camera to focus here again, because now let me move the. Looks like the sun's gone. This. Okay, so now. Now, so that there's that. If y'all have any questions, let me know. <laughs> uh, hey, Tracy. Ah. Uh, Okay, so let's do a giveaway. Let me move all this, my pins. All right, so this is some of the stuff that I found. This is some of the little old packs of ATC. Back when I was doing ATCs and I had all kinds of little Etsy things. Let me put my cat back on my um, kits. Okay, I made all kinds of Etsy kits. I don't do that anymore. I'll tell you the number one reason I didn't like doing Etsy kits. I love putting together. I did collage kits. I did ATC kits. I did all kinds of little kits. It's the photographing them for Etsy. Because when people buy collage kits or, you know, any kind of little ATC kits or anything like that, they want to see every single piece of paper in there. I'm telling you. They want to see everything you're, they're buying. Even if it's just five, seven, ten dollars They want to see every single thing in there. So photographing, and with Etsy, you know, the photographs are all, it's a, I don't do it anymore. I don't do Etsy at all anymore. <laughs> but it's a pain to do all that photographing. It would take, it could take up to an hour to photograph one kit that you're selling for $5. <laughs> it's just not, I quit doing kits long ago. But let me show you the one, I'm going to, this is the larger one, and this is the one I'm going to send to Eileen. So it was just little bits of things to use to make ATCs. Or no, this one was postcards. This one was postcards. These were ATCs. And I always did my kits based on theme or color. So let's just say I had an ATC kit with green. Everything in the kit would be green. In this case, they were Valentine Day. These were some old Valentine Day kits. <laughs> So I would have starter cards like the ones I sent out last week. 
here's a piece of scrapbook paper here's a piece of uh the color paper from um prima had these color book pages that had hearts on it there are some blanks in here some music paper some def a page of old vintage dictionary paper i would have little hearts that i made here's a vintage a vintage ziggy um valentine a tag a couple pieces of ribbon <laughs> Uh, another piece of ribbon that said happy valentine's day here's um some stickers a friend of the heart is a friend forever that's you eileen this one's going to eileen i know right miss aroma that's a pain in the tush to take sales photos so this is the one that i'm sending to eileen then here's some rub-ons some rub-ons and then a little uh, pack of buttons so this was one of my little kits and I had them all um, I would have it tied up with um, twine I don't see the twine for this one but I'm gonna put it back in the I'm gonna put it in a, a envelope so this one's for Eileen this is your get well Eileen this one's for Eileen get well so that's going to Eileen. Now I'm going to do two giveaways for our Society of Idea Collector gals. I'm going to dig out in the bowl. Wait a minute. Let me get this. Let me find another piece of, uh, where's my, I don't know where my big post-it notes are. Here. So this one's going to go to Eileen who has cracked ribs. <laughs> okay. So that'll go to Eileen. Now I'm going to get out the bowl. Our Society Idea Collecting Bowl and draw two names and I'll show you what's in those packs. They're ATC packs. Smaller ones. Let me move my notebook over there out of the way. Alright, so in these packs, move the scissors. <laughs> I just gotta keep I gotta keep shuffling everything around so we have room. Okay, so these were a couple ATC packs. So again, see it was tied up with twine like this. Okay. So, do we get dark again? I don't know. It looks like we got dark. Let's go over back over here. Let's brighten this baby up. No, no, no. Gotta readjust the focus. The light is completely changed, so let's focus again. I don't know. Okay. Okay, so in this pack, we had a little pack of buttons, red, white, and I think black. Then a little ribbon, a little Happy Valentine's Day, a little uh, sticker, with a, a quote with love. And then these, these were all ATCs. So I did have a dictionary page in there, some music. A vintage Valentine. This one's from 1985. Yeah, one of the girls got it from Jim. <laughs> so there's a little vintage uh, ATC in there, a little book cutout, some blank ATCs, four or five blank ATCs, a heart, some scrapbook papers all different kind of scrapbook papers and then this here was three of my starters you know cut up journal pages right so there's starters actually i think when i was doing these we did um we did big sheets of stenciling stamping painting for the purpose of cutting them up into atc size so these are all cutouts there so anyway there's that oh let's put the button so there's this pack and there's a rib there's a piece of a twine i'm not going to do that right now so there's that one i think the other one's probably pretty much the same because i try to keep them all consistent so again the pink tissue paper dictionary page cut out book cut out music paper a bunch of blank ATCs and ATCs are artist trading cards, two and a half by three and a half. A vintage Valentine, some scrapbook papers, 
a heart. See, they're all pretty much the same. A sticker, eh, happy Valentine's Day, and a couple little bits of tiny ATC. So, yeah, so we're going to give these two away. So, I'm going to get the bowl. I'm going to draw two names. Draw two names to see. Oh, and also, I don't know if she's here. If y'all see Shells, Shells won some of the, I, I got her stuff right there. The other girls I've sent out. Um, I went to pull Shells' name out of my stack. Here's what I have on Shells. I have no address. So I usually don't put anybody's name in the bowl unless I have their address. But Shell's name got in the bowl, and I do not have Shell's address. So if any of y'all see Shell's around, <laughs> I have her, um, you know, book clip and other little stuff that I put together for you guys that already sent out. I don't have Shell's address, so I don't know if Shell's is here. I don't see her, but yeah. I need your address, Shell, so you can get your last week's giveaway. All right, so here we go. Two packs. I'm not going to look. I'm going to just kind of fluff these up. Fluffing, fluffing, fluffing. And dig down here and get two names. Here's the first name. Tammy Price. And then fluffing, fluffing, digging. You got your goodies? Okay, Suzanne, good. And the second person is Bethany Dupree. So Bethany and Tammy, which I should have their addresses on my little cards, because the cards I have separate, see? I'm very organized. Here's everybody's addresses in here. Shells was a blank one. Okay, so Tammy and Bethany in the Society of Idea Collectors, you are going to get a little ATC. A little ATC pack to make yourself, to make them yourself. Okay, and then Eileen's getting the third one because she has cracked ribs. That's right. <laughs> We're, we love you, Eileen. Okay, so I think that's all, everything I have to do with the Society of Idea Collectors. It only took two hours. <laughs> And I think this might be, I'll look and make sure. I think this is um, episode, it's either four, I think it's 14 or 15. I'll make sure I tag it with the right one. Okay, so I'm going to stop this video. And then the next thing we're going to do is we are going to do a coloring page out of Anastasia's Dragon Book. And uh, so we'll be right back. And you'll wait, well, real quick, y'all have any questions? Anybody got any questions on the syllables system? <clears throat> I'll just wait a second. It's episode 14. Thank you, Pacola. Pacola said 14. And I also got Pacola gets a treat. <laughs> so I'm going to send Pacola something to you. Let me put that up here. <clears throat> Oh, let's see if there's any question. Are you talking about shells? Um, I don't know. I just know her as shells. Here, she's just shells. She's just shells as far as I know. So, yeah, I don't have her address. I don't have any shells addresses. So, I have Shalene. I think I have Shalene, but I don't have shells. So, yeah. Okay, so any questions on the Society of Idea Collector? Um, and it doesn't have to be part of the Society of Idea Collectors. You don't have to collect ideas to do the syllables pages, right? It can be totally separate. Okay, I'm not thinking, I'm not seeing any questions. If I see, uh, I'm just going to stop the recording. So if I see any questions, I'll answer your questions, but... Okay, so thanks guys for, hope y'all got something out of that. If you do have any questions and you're watching on YouTube, leave me a comment, leave me a question, be glad to answer. Um, yeah, so thanks everybody. <laughs>